Hi everyone, just wanted to share with you um, a little altered box that I made. Um, it's definitely a, a steampunk looking box. Um, first one that I've ever done, I'm really quite pleased with it. On the top I've used uh, Tim Holtz gears and tiny little crystals just to accent it. And the metal flower, these were the Graphic 45 flowers and you probably can't see but I actually embossed the metal so they've got a pattern on them. And then I used a, a little metal button and a tiny little watch face which just fitted perfectly on there. Pleased with that, that's lovely. There's a Tim Holtz key and I've used alcohol ink on that to, to distress it. Little mulberry flowers with some stickles on and some of the Tim Holtz bead chain and two tiny little keys. The watch face charm, I've got quite a few of these, I can't actually remember where I got them from now but it worked perfectly with this box. And then underneath that it's sitting on the cogs that I used one of the Sizzix dies from Tim Holtz for and I actually did uh, the first bit of distressing using the, the distress powders and that actually came out quite well. You probably can't see how distressed it looks but I'm really pleased with it. And then on the paper that I stamped underneath I've then for the first time ever did a leafing technique with the, the metallic flakes and I'm really pleased with how that came out. And on the front and all around the box I used the uh, Tim Holtz film strip so I thought that just went really well. And then I've just stamped in the corners, uh, I've used some rub and buff, some bronze rub and buff all around it, two little keys and some more cogs with some really pretty crystals, I hope you can see those, and a little clock face that I cut out and put glossy accents on, and then the wings that I made using the Tim Holtz die, and again I've leafed that, and I'm really pleased with how they came, turned out. And on the sides again, just the rub and buff and some stamped images and some distressed cogs. I followed that through on the back and the other side. And then inside it does up with a magnet. I've actually covered the whole box with the Seven Gypsies tissue paper, which I love. Really, really pleased with this. And then used the steampunk stamp from Tim Holtz. And then inside I've just stuck a a steampunky looking paper uh, and it's hinged so it's quite sturdy so there you have it my first little altered box I'm quite pleased with it I hope you enjoyed watching thank you very much see you again soon bye